Hi guys! Hey friends, I'm Anita. I'm back with another video. Today is Friday, so it's time for another Friday read. My plant looks tired. I'll apologize in advance if it's really noisy. I have my windows open because I just came home and it's really boiling hot in here. So, update. This week has been quite hectic. I haven't been home quite a lot. Um, or well, if I've been home, I've had guests over, so that's quite unusual for me, so it's been a little bit stressful because I'm not really good with having so many things to do in a row like where I don't have any days where I can just sit at home just relaxing especially not when I have work and stuff as well but I'm happy that I did a lot of things, hopefully I don't have a lot of plans over the weekend but actually before we get into that I got a bit of a scare last night, I was before I went to bed, before bed, I was lying in bed trying to sleep when I st started hearing this weird, weird noise. Um, and I couldn't really decipher it at all. So, I, at first I thought it might be just people, the people who live on, beside me, across the hall. Because we have um, a back entrance uh, in, our, in our kitchen. And it sounded a bit weird. And sometimes the now, if they are in the hallway, I can hear it really perfectly, no matter what, because it's really noisy. <laughs> but then it, the noise was really strange, so I just popped my head out into the kitchen just to check if there was something. And I could hear something coming from the cupboard underneath my sink. So I was really, really scared that I had a rat or something in there. I mean, scared. I, that's like one of my worst fears ever and this is an old house so it definitely could happen for sure um, And I just checked what I, I was too scared to check it this morning when I woke up because I couldn't deal with it if it was, it was if it was there because I had to think about it all day and Not be able to do anything about it So I decided to wait until now and I just checked and there's nothing evi No evidence at all that there was possibly a mouse in there or a rat for that matter because I figure if that was the case, then the trash would be all over the place. There would be holes in garbage bag. Um, but there wasn't, so <laughs> yay. But I have to check uh, in the future, uh, be, be a little more aware. But maybe I talked to my colleague about it because I was really unsure about it. And he said that sometimes they'd have mice in the walls. Um, and they could be really, really noisy. So it could have been that. And I don't know. Maybe it is. Yeah, but we'll see. Um, I'm happy that there wasn't anything when I looked at least, so I'm a little more comfortable <laughs> now than I was last night when I couldn't sleep at all. So yeah, anyway, I also have a couple of unboxings, so I'll get into those before I get into my Friday reads. I'll try and keep it short. I got these boxes today and I want to unbox them. Uh, only two of them are books. I mean, there's only two books in all of this, so We'll see. Let's start out with this one. I think, I believe it's um, one of the used books that I bought recently. Um, either that or it's a book depository book. We'll see. Oh, it's my book depository book. Great. I like that I get a lot of 10% 10 10 discounts, but the fact is that all of the books that I checked, they're not any of any interest, so too bad. Bookmark, the designated bookmark. And the book is Arabella of Mars by David D. Levine. Levine. I heard really great things about this. Um, I think it's a sort of science fiction that I would enjoy. I didn't realize it was mass market sized, but it was in the bargain bin. I think I didn't get it, I didn't buy it for very much at least. But I'm really looking forward to reading this at some point, hopefully soon. So yeah, let me know if you've read it and you enjoyed it. This next one is my Amazon box. My scissors. Ooh, away from yourself. This is a mug and a book, <laughs> I think. I actually forgot what book it was. I bought it quite a few books, but I forgot which one was in, in this box. So yay for surprises. Oh yeah! Yeah, I bought this for like two pounds. And it is Nobody's Princess by Esther Friesner. I've had this on my wish list and TBR for the longest time and it's actually super short. I think this could go so fast. It's only just 300 pages. Look, it doesn't look like a 300 page book. And the font is 
pretty big. But um, yeah, Nobody's Princess by Esther Friesner. Yeah, but I'm actually really looking forward to this. It could be like good for a readathon because it's so short. So I'm really down for that. I think it's YA. But let me know if you've read this and if you heard of it and then what you think thought of it if you read it. And the other thing in here, I'm pretty excited about this. I don't usually buy a lot of merchandise from this world, this universe, um, because uh, I find it very expensive and I find it a little over the top with all of the things that you can get now. I mean, I love the series and stuff, but I'd rather just have the books. And then I had this mug and that's the only thing I plan to get, maybe a couple of mugs. But that is my Ravenclaw Harry Potter mug. Yay for that. Yes, I'm a Ravenclaw, obviously. Um, so I got this because I don't have very many mugs and I definitely don't have a favorite, but now I do. So I'm excited about that and it looks pretty nice. Um, there's one more type of mug that you could get, but I wanted this one at first, so we'll see. So that was the bullish things I got. The last two things are kitchen stuff, so I don't know if, I, if anyone wants to see what it is, but I'm pretty excited about it. Almost as excited as I am about the books. I mean, it will make my cooking life easier, I think. It's only the one thing. I also bought two other things, but that was from another side. Um, and I, that's on the way, so I think I'll get it Monday. But it is um, Spiralix. So that I can make uh, squashetti. And eating it after my diet when I, when I eventually do that. <laughs> it's definitely easier to, with this one and it doesn't get too soggy and stuff like that. So I'm excited about this. Can't wait to start using it. Now let's get into the books that I've been reading over the week. I haven't been reading very much over this week. Um, so I'll leave a link to my read your face of vlog that I did that last weekend because it will talk about the books that I finished over there. Well, I've only finished one book since then and that's the one I'm going to talk about today. So just today I finished Red Sister by Mark Lawrence, the first book in the Book of the Ancestor series. And this is one of the booktube SFF nominees in the fantasy category and I was really excited to get into something new with Mark Lawrence. And I can definitely tell very di they're very different in style and um, themes. Yet still, it is pretty dark for a fantasy. But I just like the premise of the fact that this follows a young girl as she's going into a monastery to become a nun, nun and they are training as assassins. That is just amazing. Um, I really like Nana, the main character. Um, she was really feisty, she was really badass. I really enjoyed her character. And she really, um, I also enjoyed her friendship with Hester. His Hester, yeah, um, that was really amazing and some of her other friends from the school she was going to, um, definitely enjoyed it a lot. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars, highly recommend it. Um, is it my favorite in the fantasy category? I don't think so, so far. <laughs> um, but it's definitely a really great book anyway and I very highly recommend it. And I think even if you didn't like Prince of Thorns by Mark Lawrence, you may end up liking this one because it's not as dark and twisted as uh, his Broken Empire series. So it might be that you'd enjoy this. I've heard that a lot of people who didn't like that series actually really enjoyed this one. So I definitely think you should give it a go if you want to check some more about Mark Lawrence. He's a really great writer. Yeah, but that's the only book that I finished this week and I just finished it today. So I'm going to talk about the books that I have worked on over the week and what I plan on working on over the weekend. Now, the only book that I've read a little bit in is The Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Eames. I'm currently on page 134. So I think I might have read 25 pa more pages in this since last weekend. Um, but it's definitely getting more enjoyable. I've definitely enjoyed it uh, a lot as it's been going on. It's very uh, fast paced, there's a lot happening all the time, so when you read it, it's, uh, it's it runs pretty smoothly. 
and I really enjoy that. It has all of the fantasy tropes so far. Like you, it, it just throws all of these different magical creatures at you, and it's pretty exciting and sort of fun. Um, so I, hope, I don't, I don't know how much I'll be working on this over the weekend, but this is one of the books I'm planning on taking with me today when I'm staying outside, so I can read outside. Um, yeah, the other books that I'm, I'm contemplating picking up. Uh, when I go today is Song of Achilles by Madeleine Miller. I'd really like to get, make some progress in this again. I'd like to finish it before this month is over at least, so it would be nice to do some progress in this. And I am just over halfway and it's a great story, but it's a little flowery and it takes a little more time for me to read it than it does with Kings of the Wild. Um, but I hope that I will get back to this over the weekend. If not today, then maybe on tomorrow or Sunday. I just started today on Skin Games by Jim Butcher, the 15th book in the Dresden Files series. I've been highly anticipating getting back into the Dresden Files world. This is the last and final up until now uh, book that is in the Dresden Files series, so I'm a little, I'm a little sad about it actually and I've, I've posted it on Instagram because it's so weird thinking about this is the final novel. I mean I know I have the two short story collection, I mean this one that is now side jobs that I already have and the other one that comes out next month um, which I'm definitely also going to get but after that I don't know how long I'll have to wait for peace talks and the next books coming after that and that is going to be so strange but then I'll have to go and start on some other Jim Butcher's other books but the bad thing about it is it's not going to be um, James Masters narrating the book. I actually don't think even that the Codex Alira series have been made into audios but I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so that is one I'm listening to and I'm already enjoying it. I'm two hours into it already and yeah, I'm just enjoying being in the world and lo lots of things has already happened, which is very common in a heavy distance book. And that's why I picked it up because I needed something that was really quick, fast paced and just out there after a couple of denser books. I just like to get this sort of fast paced read in uh, every now and then and that's why I picked up this book before I get into any more of the booktube SFF audios um, that I may or may not pick up this month. Finally, the book that I'm gonna pl I'm planning on starting in this weekend is going to be um, Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Novell. I know this is a pretty fast read so I hope that I'll be able to finish it over the weekend because um, my my I have it down on overdrive and so I'd like to get started on it, finish it, so I can get started on Waking Guards, which is also this month's book, but I'll have to request that and I'll be doing that now that I start this other one and hopefully I won't be having to wait very long. These are my plans, reading plans for the weekend. I'm going to my parents' house today. It's really as I said, it's really nice outside, so we're having a barbecue, a grilling the grilling season has started apparently because last yesterday it was like 25 degrees outside which is when um in denmark we uh it's an official summer day in temperature wise and that doesn't happen very often last year i think we had two tw actual summer days um all over the summer and that was in may i think and yeah but last year day, yesterday was really great today is a little colder but still really nice I think around just around the 20 degrees and I'm talking in Celsius of course I don't know what the Fahrenheit degrees are um, <clears throat> but just think of it as a summery temperature and I'm happy um, yeah so we're grilling we're gonna so I'm gonna be hoping to sit outside to read for a bit before I have to eat dinner and I hope that we're um, yeah just, just gonna have a chill night <laughs> And my sister just got a job uh, today, so I'm really excited about that. That's really nice for her. She's been going through a lot of things recently, especially with her job situation, and just that she got this job finally. And she, it's a, it's, it's a job and an education at the same time. So she's sure to get have this position for the next two years. So that is exciting for her. And we're going to be celebrating that a little bit today i think as well so that is really exciting something that we've all been hoping for <laughs> um but it has been some rough months and yeah um so i'm really happy about that and i think tomorrow and sunday is going to be very relaxed i don't think i have many plans i have to go down to the city just for a bit and then i'm gonna go for a couple of runs over the weekend 
and that is it. Um, for the most part, I'm just gonna stay in and read, I hope, and relax because of all of the social stuff I've been doing all week, I need some time to myself, I think. So, yeah, um, and it might sound strange, but for an introverted person like me, it I, I feel very low on energy uh, when I don't get to just sit by myself and relax. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, this is all I had for you today. Let me know in the comments down below what you have of exciting reading plans over the weekend. And yeah, if you've read in the books that I am ta have talked about today, they also let me know about that. I just, whatever you want to tell me, yeah, put the comment down. <laughs> um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video very, very soon. Bye.